Hi, we're back to using the car, and this time we're going to add a sky. Now, here's the sky that I want to use. This photo was taken by Luca Lorenzi. I got it from Creative Commons. So I'm, I've clicked on the sky layer, the background layer. I'm going to unlock it and name it sky and bring it into my composition, car version 5. And we've already done some things. Look, it's enormous. So here's my layers panel. I am going to bring it be oops, below the sky for right now. And what I need here is a layer mask that will let this sky show through. Now the layer mask is going to have to constitute most of this white area. I am going to have to guess on some of these roof uh, tents, awnings, a little bit. I tried looking at the different channels, and maybe it gave me an idea. I probably will need to use a couple of different tools. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you notice we've used the pen tool, we've used alpha channels, and we've used layer masks. I'm going to, the, the car is Christopher, this is the person, Christopher, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm embarrassed, yes. And um, I think I'll drag it down to underneath so we, we don't need to contend with that right now. All this white and the trees and these trees, the sky needs to show through here and here. So I'm trying to, I'm going to do this in pieces uh, and the roof, which is not clear. So I'm going to take the pen tool and drag it over this way and then to here. And I can remember the, the beauty of the pen tool is you can always edit it. It's just takes a little getting used to, and I'm going to have to fix this little doodad here, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. And I'm going to probably do some more to this, and I can just go out here, this doesn't matter. This matters here, let's put an anchor point here, and I'm going to have to do some hand, hand work, handy work up here. And there are those. And this might be the start of our um, mask. So I'm going to take my white tool, click off, and click back on. So I can just move this. And I'm going to move this over here. And this one got kind of goofy. See that? See this thing? This this just doesn't work. So I'm going to break the handles by holding down the Option key. See, now I've got separate handles. And um, they're broken, so I can... There. Now I was able to make that. So I'm going to start with this, this work pass as a selection. I'm going to call it Sky. And I'm going to bring in the marching ants. Put it on the car. Now it's backwards. I don't know if you remember how to invert colors. And we want to invert the colors on the mask. I'm going to go Command-I, Control-I on a PC. I'm going to move the sky around, but I can see more what I'm doing. So now I'm going to get a hard edge. Make sure it's hard edge. It is 100% hardness. Click over here to get out of there. And I am going to, first of all, zoom in. See here, hold down the spacebar to get the hand temporarily, hit the B key to get the brush, and I need to hide some of that white. I want a smaller brush here. I might be able to select that with the quick select tool, but I'm just going to go by hand on most of it here. I don't have to get every single bit of green. There we go. I'm going to hold down the space bar again and move my car here because 
I want this area to reveal the sky, so it should be white. I'm using a white on, on the end of my pen to add to, if you can look, see what's happening there. I'm going to click here, and I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to go to the magic wand and see. Look, I could get in there. I have to make sure I'm on the layer mask and then fill it. Keyboard shortcut, I believe it's Option Delete. Yes, Option Delete will pick the foreground color to fill. And then I'm going to go there and Option Delete again. And I have a tiny bit left um, here. So I am going to go to back to my brush tool and get a teeny brush and fill that. That's got the sky in it. Uh, I'm going to get a slightly bigger brush and go here, kind of get this area here, and this doesn't look too bad. Um, that might be kind of a rough edge. I might have to fix that with the pen tool. We'll see if I can do it by hand. It's always easier to do stuff not by hand, but with a selection tool. Uh, there's a tiny bit of sky right there. Um, I have white. I need black. Let's see. See that right in here? We're going to recolor some of the shrubs too. So let me double click the hand tool to fit on the screen. Actually, I see an area right over here. I'm going to get the brush again. And I want to cover this. I don't want this included. I want this to show the sky to show through here. Let me move this out of the way. And let me move this out of the way. And we're looking pretty good over here. There's some shrubs that we're going to have to add saturation to. That'll be a different lesson. Not too shabby. Double click the zoom tool to get back. Now the sky, I'm going to free transform. See that giant transformation? I can't even see my bounding boxes. So I go up here to the options, click, link it. And I'm going to make it like 50% because it's a pretty big sky. <clears throat> I'm even going to make it smaller. I'm going to make it 25%. There we go. Got more of the clouds in there. Remember, with Free Transform, you can click the Transform Warp and you can start moving parts of the sky around, which is kind of fun. Uh, and this goes all the way. I know it's in version 5, Photoshop version 5. So it's not like you have to have uh, the most recent version of Photoshop to have transform warp. It's just that not a lot of people talk about it that much, I've noticed. So there we go. So you have to grab that corner, bring some of those clouds in, and bring this down a little bit. I don't like what looks like what's going on in there. So I think I can, can I grab that? I can grab that. There, that looks a little better. I wonder if I can get, see behind that it's looking kind of weird. So I think I'm going to leave it blue. So I'm going to hit the enter key on my extended keyboard. If you don't have one, you can hit the check mark. And there we have our sky. So now there's more work to do on this and we'll do it as time goes on.